Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very fun video for you guys, especially for you who are the OG subscribers who initially subscribed because of my Daiso content. And if you guys are not aware, a Daiso is basically a Japanese Dollar Tree on steroids. I swear they have every little thing you could think of. I swear everything you basically need is going to be in a Daiso, especially if you are living in Japan currently or have the pleasure of traveling to Japan and visiting a Daiso. I have a ton of Daiso store tours if you guys are interested in those uh, make sure to check that whole playlist out and i'll also have a video pop up on the corner so you guys can immediately click on it if you're interested i don't live in japan anymore and i know it sucks i'm sadder than anybody can ever fathom however i still have a bunch of daiso products literally tubs full of things i just hauled right before i left so i'll be doing gradually a bunch of hauls on those once I open it up, I have no idea what's even in those tubs anymore. So that's very good news. But this haul will not be on those items that I got from Japan. These items will be from the Daiso in Houston, I want to say. If you guys are not aware, there's a bunch of Daisos in Texas. So that's what today's haul is going to be all about. And I did get a lot of things, so I'm definitely going to have to split this haul up. But for today's video, I'll be showing you guys the home items. So definitely very practical, everyday home items. And then the next haul will involve all cutesy type things. Also, I wanted to clarify that everything in a Daiso within Japan is about a hundred yen basically that's equivalent to a dollar however if you were to visit a Daiso in the States everything typically starts at 150 or maybe even two dollars they do have price conversion charts all over the Daiso stores here in the US so you don't have to worry about not knowing what to convert it to in dollar wise but anyways let's go ahead and jump right in first up are going to be these magic erasers and as you can see it comes in a pretty big package a good decent size they're shaped um, in cubes and I cannot find anything in the States that basically mimics this shape and size of magic erasers so I definitely like to stock up on these every time I go to a Daiso. This cut and size is just a personal preference of mine and plus you get so so many so I definitely think it's a great deal. Moving on to more cleaning products these are just some mini spray bottles and I love how stark white the entire thing is. It just basically matches my laundry room aesthetic. I like to add these into my cleaning caddy for upstairs and I don't need a full size for that caddy. So I like being able to put these mini ones in there. Next is going to be this plastic white kitchen canister. I originally got these for my daughter and her little play kitchen set. So I'm going to be adding like a flour sugar decal on it so it can look cute in her little kitchen. It's originally made for a regular kitchen so it's definitely food safe. I honestly wish our Dollar Tree here in the States had things like this because I could definitely use a bunch of these in my own kitchen. Next I picked up this kitchen brush just because obviously it was pink and it's so cute. I just really think that it's perfect for those tougher foods that really like to cling on to dishes. Next I got a pink cleaning brush and I actually needed one of these. I absolutely love that the bristles are pink and that the rubbers on the sides right here for the grip are also pink. Next I picked up these shower drains. I cannot rave enough about these and I have not found anything similar that does a well of a job for such a great price and I've tried everything before i have so much hair and it's constantly falling out so this definitely catches all of that and then everything else you just put it on top of your drain in the tub or in the shower and it will catch everything so i definitely recommend you guys getting this if you ever have a chance to go to a daiso next i picked up this rose gold dessert glass and i just love how beautiful it is. This is definitely a lot of detail for an item that was so cheap. I just figured it'd be perfect for my ice cream and my gelato. This next item is a repurchase and I cannot believe that this was only a dollar. I got mine originally from Japan and this is the one I picked up here in the States, so $2. Um, this one is a Easy Gyoza. So let me open it up. So basically a gyoza is very similar to a dumpling. It is filled with traditionally like meat or vegetables. So the shell for the gyoza is going to be round and you want to go ahead and just set it right on top of this and you're going to fill it with maybe a teaspoonful of the filling and then you just close it up like this and the sides right here are what's going to be pinched together to close it for you and literally this saves you so much time and so much hassle of pinching down the sides kind of like when you have to close down and pinch down an empanada this is the same exact thing except you're able to use this machinery to close it down and seal it for you so i love using this i love gyozas this one is actually for my bestie krisha so I'm super excited to finally get this to her. So if you're watching, I'm sorry that I've been holding on to this for so long now. So this next item is going to be a rice mold. If you guys are not aware, Daiso has so many items for bento boxes. Just so many cute and creative things and things that you would never even think to own. Things that will just absolutely blow your mind. So when I came upon this one, I just had to have it. 
It's a rice mold for basically a butt of an anima. It looks like he's like diving into the vegetables or diving into the food. And I just love making fun foods like this for my children. So you want to make sure your rice is nice and sticky and you just pat it down into the mold and kind of just tap it out and it should become just like that and you just kind of garnish and make the little additional details with some nori or some sushi sheets right here in the bottom it actually shows that you can do like a squirrel butt or a pig butt but i love this next time i go to daiso i'm gonna raid the entire bento section because you cannot just find those things anywhere next is going to be the sushi roller it's a traditional bamboo sushi roller basically it helps you roll your sushi up and it keeps it like nice, tight, and packed and kind of uniform all the way across. So this is definitely very helpful. They have these in several different sizes. Next, I picked up these very fun silicone pot holders. I just love the design and they perfectly match like my whole gray white aesthetic. And it's kind of hard to find, you know, really nice aesthetic looking pot holders. So I figured why not? Let's try these out. Next, I picked up these utensil sets for my children. These are perfect for school. So the fact that this comes with a case, the spoon, the fork, and some chopsticks is such a great deal. So if you were to pick up something similar from a place like Target, these would probably run you close to five, six, maybe even up to eight dollars and it doesn't even come with nearly as many items as these do. So this is such a great deal and such great quality. All the ones that my kids have had since like they were three, four years old have lasted up until now. So I picked up a panda one and a dog one. And then I stumbled upon this silicone baking spatula and I definitely had to pick it up because it matches my sprinkles rolling pin perfectly. And I wanna say they had like little muffin molds and other sprinkles, um, bake related items that match this but I did not end up picking those up I just needed this one last but not least I picked up some high chews if you guys have not had these you definitely have got to try them I want to say they're very similar to Starburst and these are widely available now pretty much um any grocery store I could think of, they have high chews, so definitely try them out, see if you like them. My husband absolutely loves these, so I always snag them every time I go to Daiso. So we've got one in Mango and in Kiwi. But that is it for my haul. I'll definitely have a bunch more Daiso hauls in the future, and make sure to stick around for the other portion of this haul. Um, I'll have that out hopefully coming out soon. That one's gonna be for more cutesy, travel girly type things. And if you guys are interested, I know I have a bunch of old footage as well from when I did more tours back in Japan when I lived there. If you guys are interested in seeing those old ones, let me know as well in the comments down below. As always, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already for more content like this. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button as well. Thank you guys and I'll see you in the next video.